So here we are, both of our competitors are getting loaded up now. Jonathan in the red corner with Pushy Wushy. You can see that black robot there with the big titanium wedge on the front. It is got curled around on the sides and hinged in the center, so really good at bouncing into a, its opponents. And so far, his best tactic with it has been to ram into his opponent and throw them over the edge. Yeah. Uh, and Andrew is speed wedge one over in the blue corner there. That also has wedges on the front, little wedge-like fingers. Uh, very hard, hinged as well, and they've got hooks on the top, which makes them capable of grabbing onto the opponent as it goes over top. And uh, instead of it just flying over top, it actually manages to push it across the arena quite effectively. And you will see, even as she's testing it out there, that it is very fast to react, very nimble. Uh -oh. And she's been very good at driving it so far. It looks like Jonathan having a little bit of electrical issues here, just trying to get transmitters figured out. It's wiggling around over in the corner. These robots are both custom built, which... Oh, there it goes. Now it's working. It just took a moment to pick up a signal by the looks of it. Both of these robots, custom built, are more veteran drivers do tend to do that and uh, can result in some very interesting designs. So you might have a loose wire or something in Pushy Wishy here. It works for a moment and then it doesn't. <laughs> Good enough. All right. What else can we do? It has come down to the time, so it'll have to do with what he's got available. Hopefully, he'll still be able to sneak the win again here against Andrea. Andrea. When you're ready. All right, everybody's ready. We will begin in three, two, one, fight. Oh, pushy, pushy. Look at this thing. It is so jittery and very quickly getting underneath speed, speed wedge one. Flipping it upside down, you can see that gigantic magnet exposed there. Without that magnet, she is a much less powerful pushing robot. And Speedway, or uh, Pushy Wishy almost managed to push her over that side. What he's really hoping to do, you can see here, oh, ramming into the red hazard. He really wants to get her against that side push out, the one that's actually closed, because he can ramp her right over the wedge. He's been, done very well at it so far. And man, Speedway, both of these things, very fast, very nimble. Speed Wedge 1, look at this thing go. But surprisingly, he is going completely over top of those hooks on her wedgelets, which is actually one of the major sticking points for her. So unfortunately, it's not going to work so well for her perhaps in this fight, but she does manage to pin Pushy Wishy up against the wall for a moment. Important for showing control in case this goes to a judge's decision later. Both of them flying around the arena. Speed Wedge 1 getting underneath Pushy Wishy, getting up against the red side push out. And now up on its wheel. Uh oh, and then. Looks like uh, some more radio issues here for Jonathan as he's a little bit stuck over by the blue hazard. He's got 10 seconds to get it going again, but it's not functioning properly. Andrea's coming over and giving him a push, or trying to anyway. She does want to give him a chance because not exactly sure what's wrong here with the electronics, but things are not working out so well for him. He did have some issues starting off, but yeah, it is now not wanting to respond at all, unfortunately. A minute and a half still to go here. <laughs> Keep hitting. So he's trying to reset his radio here. Andrea being very kind to a friend here, trying to uh, give him a chance to get moving again because he does want this to be a very interesting fight. But unfortunately, it looks like radio is just not working here on on Pushy Wushy at all, no matter how many bumps we give it. Andrea trying to push into it here, Speed Wedge 1, but she's upside down as well, which means she doesn't really have the pushing power she would normally need to clear him out of the arena or anything. You can tap out if you like. You just have to hit the button over here. Oh. Yeah, and he has decided it is definitely not happening. Unfortunately, Jonathan dead in the water there, so the win will go to Andrea with Speed Wedge 1. Hard luck loss there for Jonathan. His robot's been very effective throughout these matches, but unfortunately just not functioning for him at the moment.